So I'm running into Walmart very quickly to see if they have any of these plants that I love to finish up my little work area. So, you know, it feels nice and cozy when I go out and, you know, have my teacher meetings and all that stuff. So we'll see what they have in Walmart. I keep forgetting it's Mother's Day. I typically don't do anything special for Mother's Day. I sure don't get anything. So, it's just another day. When is it? This Sunday? I just realized all those pretty flowers. I'm like, why do I have all those pretty flowers? I am not a fan of flowers personally because they die. So, if someone wants to give me flowers, I mean, they're cute. But I really prefer a plant. Don't give me flowers. You know, the plant is going to last a little longer. Although, I don't necessarily have a green thumb. But I would definitely prefer a plant over flowers. <laughs> get to the plants outside. Oh wait, 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 wait. You can. And these plants, I just love them. Um, I need one that needs to be repotted. Ooh, I probably should've got a card. So I'm just gonna get one. I, need, I actually need two. And one of my um, plants needs to be repotted, but I'm just gonna get one. Like this. I like stuff like this, that's pretty. But I will not be, uh, yeah, I need to repot my plant. Let me get a card. Then I can finish off my little area. I'm super excited. Dang. Please, I gotta walk back to the front, y'all. For a car. I'm not trying to carry no no plant through the store. Something crawl on me, I'll be dead. Dead. This is cute. Like, this would be cute for my little area. Nope. Not buying that. Not at that price, child. Mm -mm. Even this. I love this. That'd be cute, my little garage. If it was beautiful weather all year round, it might be worth the investment, but nope, it isn't. Maybe I can get a different chair, because the chairs that I have, they're really not that comfortable, actually. I wonder how this would feel. If I got two of these. What do you think about that, guys? Or one of these? This color would be cute. But I think that leans back too much. I don't want to lean back too much. I don't want to invest too much because those little bugs, they're like little baby snakes. I'm gonna have to find one and show y'all what, what they look like. So it's like, I don't want to put too much investment out there because I know those little baby snakes are coming. We call them the little baby snakes. <laughs> That's what Sydney calls them. The baby snakes, it's almost, almost like they hibernate over the winter and they come back out as soon as the weather gets warm. So far I saw two in the house. I saw two in the garage. I'm going to show y'all what they look like. And another friend used to have them but she can't get rid of them. She bought expensive stuff online. She cannot eradicate them. I picked up a few things not in my budget but I look at it this way. Look at all the gas that I saved. So even with the few little items I just bought for my little new workspace makeover, I still saved that money in gas driving to and from school for the past two months. So I'm still at a win-win because I haven't been 
really filling up my tank with gas. So that's how I'm justifying it. And I haven't even spent over a hundred dollars, but you know, I'm stressing out right now. <laughs> you know, doing something for myself like this. Okay, Joy, let it go. You're not even spending a hundred dollars. <laughs> but this is cute, sis. This one is a hard one. I want this. Look how cute she is. That would be comfy and make you want to work. <laughs> Look at that price though. <laughs> I'm not into the remodel that much, okay? And I probably still save that much in gas. Possibly so. Oh, maybe I could. Are you open in here? Are you open? Okay. So I still saved all of this in gas, not going to and from work. Child. I was to get a rocking chair. Ooh, I probably never go inside the house. This is a little rocking chair, y'all. Maybe I should get a rocking chair. How much these cost? Look, how much these cost? How much these be costing? A porch rocker. Ooh, I need to put my feet up and relax. Maybe I should just stay in. Nobody, nobody is in here. So I will show you my little thing I put together. Um once I put it together, it's not it's nothing really. I ain't even crack a hundred. But this is cute. Look this cute over here. Wait. That's cute, y'all. Might be too low. Mm-mm. No. Like these chairs are cute. How much are these chairs? There's no price on these. Oh. Okay. I made it back home. I set my little area up. And this is what it is. So I'll take pictures and submit these for my unique teacher workspace from home so people have done some creative things because you know they're tired of looking at one room all the time I started off working from bed I cannot do that anymore <laughs> once in a blue moon I may start in bed but then I pop up maybe I have like an early morning meeting and then after that I'm out of there so this is what I have got my little two little chairs they weren't expensive. And um, the folding chairs were starting to hurt my back. And I got my little plant. It needs a little vase, a little pot for it. Um, and my little area, got my candles going. I'm about to get my computer. I think she is cute, sis. I think she is cute. She cute. <laughs> And I probably would have done a cute little rug, but sis, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that because those little baby snakes be coming, I'll be out of here. So as I'm sitting out here, I found some of my old drawings. They're really old. I call them my doodles. And it's like I doodle more when I have a lot going on up here or if there's unrest or if I'm stressed because it is a stress reliever and it relaxes me and also slows my brain down. So doodling um, and doing puzzles um, are a few things that have the ability that's therapeutic for me and that can really slow me down. So sometimes, just like I said before, I said previously, um, I have to decide whether I want to vlog and edit or do I want to take the time to do it? <laughs> Although you guys have been an outlet for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang some of my drawings up there. And it took a minute for me to find them, so I asked Bobby to help me lift the boxes that were over there. All the boxes over there. I'm, I'm just tired, I'm just tired. I went for a run walk yesterday and it kind of wore me out. So I probably won't go today because I have a lot of work to catch up on, but I'll go tomorrow. 
So let me get to hanging and then I'll show you the finished product, okay? All right, guys, I have my pictures hung, as you can see. So it's almost like a little gallery. These are things that I did. They're old, they're super, super old, but I just can't bring myself to throw them away. So this So these are things that I drew many, many years ago. This was 07, 07, 07. I think I was going through a flower phase. I think um, this was 07 too. I, something was happening in my life in 07, for sure. And this was 98, I, that was a long time ago. I have a sketchbook with um, more of my drawings in it. Oh, there's one down there. And I have a sketchbook with more of my drawings. Um, I think they're my personal. I think that's what they are. But I think I'm done with my little workspace. My little teacher workspace. I think it's so cute. Oh, and then I found, I have a little, I have a little, I don't know what you call them, little gadgets that I would have, that I had in my office at my old house. And this is Roly Polioli. This is how much I love. I have this. I had this when Clinton was a baby. I tell you, I read that book to the kids like crazy. And my Word Smart book, highly recommend that book. Then I have the full set of um, Toy Story. I'm just missing Darla. <laughs> I have Woody. I have Buzz Lightyear. I have the giraffe. I, I just don't have Darla. <laughs> I don't have her. But um, I thought about putting, putting that little family out. but. I don't have much space there. So, I just think it's so awesome and I love it. So, it just makes you wanna come out here and work just for a different environment. So, you want your environment to be inviting, you want it to be comfortable and neat that makes you want to live in that space. So, I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you like my little teacher workspace makeover in my garage and it's just, it's peaceful out here. It's peaceful, it's a little, it's getting hot. I don't know what the temperature is, uh, maybe 85, 90. It's hot out here and I'm with a sweatshirt. But it's nice and cool, I have my fan going, I sprayed everything, my citronella candles are going, and I wish I'm gonna need more of those. Those are burning out, child. I'm a burning those, child. And I still have little things to do. I still have my front porch to clean and my patio to clean. And then I'm done, then of course, clean the house because nobody's gonna do it. So um, this weekend I'll probably create a chore chart because people act like they can't just, I don't know. I, I think I've done a chore chart before, I don't remember. When we were at the old house, we kind of had a chore chart. But it's, it's like the kids, see me, I'm like, if it's messy, you know, just clean up. If you're in the kitchen, you decide to cook, clean up before you cook. No one, it's like no one takes pride in their home it's i don't know how to explain it like they'll just see or they'll see sometimes i test it out i'll have there'll be something on the floor i want to see how long it'll stay on the floor weeks and months months nobody will touch it until i just either yell or say something or i just do it and so they don't just do it once in a blue moon Bobby will once in a blue moon, but not on a consistent, nobody on a consistent basis. So I'm going to create a chore chart. If you guys have examples or ideas for the chore chart, it's really just a kitchen really. Um, you know, we can do a um, schedule for the bathroom, the kids bathroom, Bobby did kind of brush over their bathroom. It does look a lot of better, but I had to complain about it. I was like, this is disgusting. So, and you know, three of them share that bathroom. Um, I cleaned the downstairs bathroom a little bit. I need to clean my own bathroom, but you know, it's just me using that. So, and I clean up my bathroom and my bedroom every day. The girls keep their bedrooms pretty good. But like the bathroom, nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do the kitchen. Nobody wants to mop or sweep. Nobody wants to do that. 
but you know they're quick to ask me for something whatever so if you have any suggestions or ideas for a cute little chore chart or something like that leave it in the description box below or shoot me an email or whatever but i'm just i'm just tired guys i'm tired <laughs> all right i'm gonna try to get some work done. i'm just gonna sit out here and just take it all in because i am loving my space i'm loving it i'm loving it i hope you like it <laughs> I was you know thinking about over here I'm not gonna invest in shelving like I have over there I'm not gonna invest in any more shelving because when I leave I'm pro probably gonna end up leaving the shelving um, I don't plan on taking any more stuff and shelving is expensive I, would, I wish all this stuff was gone but you know it's a Christmas stuff and I, I don't want to invest in another shelf where I can put a curtain so I know some people may have thought about that or get more shelving for this area I'm not doing that um, this is all donation I just got a hose to clean off the patio I asked Clinton to get the hose from the old house but that never got done I wish I could put everything behind the curtain but it is what it is I think I, I like what I have um, for the time being since I know that I have my, my little goals in my head what's gonna happen I don't know but you know I don't plan on being here forever so if this was like the house and this was it yeah I would make that investment but mm -mm, I just want to be free I don't want to be tied down to anything no materialistic things no nothing I just I just just want to exist so I'm thinking about an RV um, maybe I could do I mean I haven't even seen America so I want to travel the world but I haven't even seen America so I thought about an RV or convert a van so I have to see I have two years to plan it out but in the meantime I don't want to keep you know investing in certain things and then I want to start teaching do online teaching so you know I still want to hone my teaching skills for the next couple of years and then when I'm ready to make that move I will be an even better teacher and I do think although this has been a tragic experience for the world I do think for teachers it has made us a little more um, tech savvy you know learning different things getting us out of our comfort zone so I think this was this was the push that many of us teachers needed you know some of them are afraid of technology and introducing new things to the class I think it has all pushed us to be better teachers for the kids that we have today. So with that said, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe. She cute. She cute, bro. She cute. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And I love you. Thank you for hanging out with me because you didn't have to do that. So I appreciate the time you took to hang out with your girl. All right, guys. I love you. Until next time. Later.